since I got on. I fell in love with them dollars. That Gucci, that Louis, that Prada. Hello everybody, my name is Pix and today's video I'll show how to make this pentel sketch build up in all softwares. So yes, the title says all softwares, but of course the presets will only be for Vegas Pro, but for the pencil sketch we're actually gonna be using a different software which is called paint.net. So you know, if you look at the tutorial and you know you just copy the basic steps, you'll be able to do it in your software. Anyways guys, before the video starts, like the video and if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. Now I'm gonna show you the fixes you have to do before you start the tutorial. So what you wanna do is open a Vegas Pro, go to options, make sure quant size to frames is checked, go to preferences down below, go to video and make sure GPU acceleration is turned off. Click apply, click OK, then click on this cog wheel and make sure your FPS is set to 60. Now you can do this on any FPS, but make sure you're using 60 if you want to know the exact results. And then make sure to copy the ruler settings since they are very important. So once you've done all of that, go back to video, name this whatever you want, click save, click apply, click OK, and then restart Vegas Pro. So here I'm in Vegas Pro and here I have my clip. So you can find the clip, you know, in the Google Drive and you can also find these presets in the Google Drive as well. So now what we're gonna do is analyze the clip. So we want to make sure the enemy is not behind our skin. And as you can see, the enemy is not behind because if he was behind, that would be, you know, pretty hard to draw and wouldn't make sense. So make sure the character is visible and to the side just like that. Now what we're gonna do is basically, you know, split when the character is not editing anymore. So I'm gonna pick a frame and the frame is going to be this one. So I'm gonna mark it and then cut over here. So click M to mark it and then cut over here. So just like that and as you can see after this moment, all it's gonna do is just kill him. There's no more edits. So once you mark this, go to the mark and then go 30 frames forward. So double click over here, backspace plus 30 and then click M to mark it and that is it. Now we're going to decide how many frames we want to draw. So you can draw out four frames. You can draw five or you can even draw six frames. It's your own preference, but I feel like four feels more natural. So we're gonna draw out four frames. So how it's gonna work is, as you can see, this is 30 frames apart from here to here is 30. And since we are gonna draw out only four frames, what we're gonna do is do 30 divided by four, which will be 7.5. And you know, there is not a, there is not 0 0.5 frames in Vegas Pro. So what you will do is go seven frames, eight frames, seven frames, and eight frames. And that is basically the spacing of the images. So that's, you know, how the images will be spaced out. So we're gonna do four frames and I'll explain to you later on. What you wanna do is go, you know, over here to this point and then go seven frames forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Click M to mark it, just like that. Then go eight frames forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Click on M to mark it, and then go seven frames forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Click M to mark it, and this over here will be eight, as you can see. So this is how our images will be spaced out, and now we can actually begin screenshotting the images. You wanna go to the first point over here, and th then you wanna screenshot. So how you screenshot is you go on the point you want. So I wanna screenshot this part of the video. I would go to save snapshot to file, so click on the save icon, then save it as a JPEG, make sure to select JPEG, and then as you can see, it's gonna save to downloads. Now, if it, saves, if it saves somewhere else, then that's okay, but you want to make sure it, it saves your downloads, and you wanna make sure it has a name. So it automatically names images after the numbers. So mine is image 45, and that's good. So I'm gonna click save, and as you can see, we have image 45. So now we're gonna, you know, experiment a bit. So what you wanna do is go from one to five frames forward and you wanna see if there's a big difference. So let's go about three frames, one, two, three. And as you can see, there's not a really big difference, you know, from this frame and this frame. So I think we wanna go five frames. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. And this is five frames and as you can see, there's a bigger difference and this frame is better because it's gonna go from this frame all the way to this frame. So that is good and we're gonna screenshot this frame. So we're gonna click on this, save snapshot to file, save it as a JPEG over here, click on JPEG and make sure it matches your this. So as you can see, our last image was image 45. I'm gonna name this image 46 and I'm gonna click save. So boom, and here we have image 46. So image 45 and image 46 and that's it. 
Now we're gonna go one to five frames forward again and see if there's a big difference. So let's go about three frames. One, two, three. And there's quite a big difference. Maybe one more frame and boom, that's a good difference. So we're gonna screenshot this frame. We're gonna save snapshot to file, save it as a JPEG and make sure, you know, it matches the number. So now it's gonna be image 47. So I'm gonna click save and it is gonna save this. So as you can see, we already have three images. So we need the last one. So from this point, let's go about to, from one to five frames forward. One, two, three, and maybe four, five. And we're gonna stop on this image because this image is good. And I think that's, you know, a pretty big difference. So of course, if you want to save it, you're gonna click on save snapshot, save it as a JPEG, make sure the numbers are matching. So now it's gonna be 48. I'm gonna click save and boom, we have our four images. So now what you wanna do is take out the first one. So, you know, this is 45. Uh, for you, it might be you no know, one or two or whatever, but take out the first one and place it over here. Then I'm gonna cut it on this marker and then you're gonna take out the second one. And as you can see, you're just gonna place it in the markers. Since we made the markers before, we know where to place it. So take out the third one, cut it up just like that. And then the fourth one, boom. So we have this, 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 and this, boom. This is how many frames we're gonna draw out like, and this is how it will basically look like. So that is it. Now what we're gonna do is go to the paint.net software and actually, you know, draw on the images. And boom, here I am in paint.net. And if you haven't already, make sure to install this because no, it, it doesn't take a lot of space and it's actually a really good drawing software. So what you wanna do is click on file over here, click on open and we're gonna open our first image. So I think it was image 45 over here. We're gonna click on that. And here we have our image. So I'm gonna show a few options. Of course, you can zoom in over here and zoom out. And of course you can hold control and then zoom in in your desired area. So you can just zoom in whatever you want. And that is good. So there's a few options over here are tools. You can have, you know, select the paintbrush. And once you select the paintbrush, make the hardness to 100, just like that then the brush width to six and over here you can select the color. So I'm gonna select black and that is it. Now before you start, this is really important. Make sure you go over here where it says layers and click on this plus sign to make a new layer. Now, if you don't make this, it's gonna be not a big mistake, but it's better if you actually add this layer. So once you add this layer, that's fine. What you can do now is make sure you're on the layer, not on this, but on the layer, click on the layer and basically start sketching out the skin. Now you don't need to be an artist to sketch out the skin. You know, all you have to do is basically scribble around the skin and make these sort of outlines. And boom, we're finished with the skin. So now you can check how it looks like. If you untick this, you can see, you know, what did it fill? And that looks pretty decent. Now we can move on to, you know, painting out the pump. So I would select the color red, just like that. And then, you know, you can customize the color. If you click on this, you can make it, you know, darker. And if you want to save your color, you can click over here. So once you made your color, click over here, and then you can add it, you know, to whatever you want. But I have it already added over here. So I'm gonna select the red, and then I'm gonna basically, you know, do the same thing as I did with the skin. And boom, we have masked out our pump. So of course, we can move on, you know, to the enemy. So I'm gonna zoom in, holding control and zoom in. Just like that. And now we can make the brush width actually no higher. So I'm gonna make it 11. And all I'm gonna do is draw out the outline of the skin and then color it in. And this is how it looks like now. In my opinion, it looks a bit boring. So what I would do is maybe change the brush, brush width to some like three, then take the, you know, black color and then zoom in and then disable the layer. So I'm going to paint out his you no know, helmet. So I'm going to enable this again. And this is where his helmet is. And I'm going to just basically paint it out and you know, this will make it you no know, more interesting and better and you can do anything you want here but you can also just you no know, match out the skin so here's here are his eyes boom and then we have his nose sticking out just like this and then we have his mouth and chin or whatever and you know you can mess with this whatever you want i'm gonna make him a beard 
just like that and so this is before and this is after and as you can see you know you can do whatever you want but this is what i went with and once you're done with this if you you know if you didn't forget to make the layer you can disable the background but if you forgot then you know it is what it is so uh, make sure to disable the background so untick the background and what you should see is this so now you're gonna save this as a png so you're gonna go to file you're gonna click on save as and then you're gonna save it as a png so what i would name this is something like you know uh, pencil one and that is it you no know, so you remember so this is the first one so name it something like you know pencil sketch one or whatever you want so i'm gonna click save and then i'm gonna click ok click flatten and boom it has saved the image so yeah that's basically the paint.net and you know once you're done with this you're gonna click on file open and then you know open up the second one so our second one was image 46 and do the exact same thing that i showed you before so this is not hard so basically repeat the exact same thing again so i'm not gonna waste any more time and i'm just gonna show you how it looks like in vegas pro oh and i want to mention one thing before i go to vegas pro is that every time you open up a new image make a new layer because i made this mistake several times and it's so annoying like i paint on the background and then i have to know the start and i have to add the layer so make sure you add the layer before you start drawing and make sure you only draw on the layer because if you don't draw on the layer as you can see nothing's on the layer and background it, it drew on the background but if you draw on the layer um then as you can see if i disable this you know the the painting will still be there so make sure you add a layer before you start drawing but you know anyways let's get straight into vegas pro so i'm back in vegas pro and i've imported all of the four pencil images that i've done so let's start with the first one boom and i'm gonna apply it over here and that's how it looks like now if it's not transparent for you but no you made it a png click on this you know right click properties media and click you know this and then click pre multiply dirty so you know if your thing is not transparent that you no know, might be the fix but then we can drag in the second one just like that then the third one and you know make sure to match it just like that so this matches with this one this matches with this one this with this and then this matches with this one now what we're gonna do is apply the presets on you know these images and backgrounds so we're gonna start with the image so we have cartoon skin one two and then the normal one so one means the first frame so on the first you know image you're gonna drag this and as you can see we have cookie cutter but we before we you know customize this drag in the second one on the second image which will be pencil two for me and then we can drag cartoon skin on the rest two left so three and then on the fourth one so we're gonna customize this over here so go to effects and basically as you can see this makes this appear so uh, you know goes from down all the way to up and if you want to make this faster locate cookie cutter which is in the middle and then drag this all the way to the end to go over here and set this you know just extend the size if i go over here as you can see this will appear so there is also another one on the other side and you know it's kind of hard to explain but basically if you make the, your first one something like 200 so something like that you can copy this so from the first one and paste it on to the second one so cookie cutter first one and as you can see it it'll do this basically it'll go from down below all the way to up just like that and you know this is what it will do so that is that and if you want to you know disable uh, like remove this whatever these outlines you can disable this or you can make it lower by you no know, messing with the settings what we're gonna do now is apply the background presets so we have cartoon background and all you have to do is basically drag the preset just like that the third one and then on the fourth one boom and here we have the you know skin then the background and what we're gonna do now is do the velocity on this so you want to mute these two tracks that have this and you'll see our clip so you want to basically sync it up to this marker this is where the kill is and boom it is synced up so you want to make sure this is you know, over here and make sure the clip is not too long so just like that and what you're gonna do is basically apply spixy default twixter you can apply it onto here make sure everything is in sync boom and that is in sync so that's fine 
and you can unmute these tracks and you're basically done with this part so now we're going to render it this out and what we're gonna do is go on the first frame over here so where this starts then we're gonna go 10 frames backwards so double click over here backspace minus 10 you're going to mark here and from here all the way to the clip end this is how much you're gonna select from here to here and once you select all of that you can go to file render as then customize template and make sure width and height matches your project width and height and frame rate is set to 60 as well as your project set to 60 so everything should match once everything is matching you can name this whatever you want click on render and then wait for the render to finish so we can drag the rendered file over here and we don't need this so we can remove this but i'm actually gonna save that for later so I'm just gonna do this, I'm gonna go 10 frames back and remove this and replace it with this. So make sure it is in sync, just like that, and you'll have this. And now you can apply your build-up impact. So you can just drag the preset on, make sure it is 40 frames before, you know, the kill. And you'll have some like this. So as you can see, it zooms in. If you don't want to zoom in, you can disable blur more curves. And as you can see, Twixer disabled because we already applied Twixer. But if you haven't applied Twixer already, you can enable Twixer Pro. But this is how it looks like. As you can see, looks pretty decent. And that is it, you know, not hard to do, but just a bit time consuming. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you know, drop a like, follow my Twitter. Anyways, this was Pixie. I'm out.